Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Denise Joy. In today's video, I'm sharing tips and tricks to help you transform your wood furniture to give it a brand new life with just paint. <laughs> Here are two excellent tips to help you make a decision about what color to paint your painted furniture. One, the tip on the left is a piece of cardboard painted in the color that I'm going to use. And then that same color painted on an old cabinet door. If you don't have an old cabinet door, get a piece of cardboard because this tip works great. thing you must do is sand your painted furniture. You really want to get the shiny surface or the smooth surface really gritty. I used sanding pads followed by an electric sander. I'll put the links to those products in the description below. When choosing your sandpaper, make sure you use the lower grit papers first for the coarser roughening up and then the higher numbers between 240 to 400 for that fine smooth finish. I really paid a lot of attention to the sides of the cabinet because there were quite a few layers of paint, at least six, and there were trips. So I paid particular attention to the joints of the cabinet, the front and back joints, as well as some of the areas on the front panels because I wanted to have that really fly, custom on a budget look. After the sanding, then you have to wipe the furniture down completely, wipe it down with some clean water, and then let it dry for at least an hour before you start painting. Here I've already applied two coats of my base color using thin coats of paint and this six inch sponge roller, which I highly recommend. You do not have to use a spray gun to get flawless, smooth, custom finish for your painted furniture. I'll drop the links to these products below. One of the other painting tools I used was a two inch angled brush, a regular synthetic brush, just the Home Depot brand, and it was perfect for getting into those little cracks and crevices for the detail work. Here's an example of how to apply steady, consistent, light pressure, and you see that's a really thin coat of paint. You do not want drips. If you're getting drips off of your sponge roller, stop. Really roll that in your roller tray. Just get that extra paint off of that sponge roller because you do not want drips. You want really thin coats to get that custom finish. Don't forget to do a light sanding in between every two light coats of your base paint. That way you're going to assure a smooth custom finish that will last a very long time. Make sure that you let your paint dry overnight with the doors and the drawers open. If your furniture has doors and drawers, you do not want to leave the drawers and doors closed to let it dry. Once the paint's dry, put your hardware back on and enjoy your beautiful furniture. This piece is called Liberty. Liberty. 